Opioid addiction continues to be a crisis nationwide, but groups are working to end the cycle. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us now in the studio. Emily, what can you tell us about this? Well, Tamika, the Alabama Department of Mental Health and Quest Prevention Services held its annual opioid summit in Decatur today. They talked about which opioids are most prevalent and ways to support loved ones who are working through addiction. But the most powerful part of the summit was hearing from Benjamin Greco and hearing his story with addiction. People can do things with their lives with numerous chances. In my, in my case, it was four or five chances, you know. Benjamin Greco is an intern with Crisis Services of North Alabama and is gearing up to graduate from Athens State University, where he's studying behavioral science. But his journey hasn't been easy. He became involved with opioids and other drugs at a very young age. It's impacted my life in an intense way, and I want to get the message out to others because I survived longer than I expected to. He is now three years sober and is in recovery for opioid addiction. He shared his story at the seventh annual opioid summit in Decatur on Tuesday. Greco said it took him more than a decade to reach recovery. The pain I was living with every day and all the close calls to death had finally become enough for me. I found peace in the feeling of normalcy without the dependence of to drugs or medication. He says every day is a challenge, but he never wants to go back to where he was before. Greco said he wanted to share his story to give insight into what people may be going through. Do your best if, if you're involved with somebody who's addicted to not enable them, but unconditionally love them. Mm -hmm. There's only so much you can do at certain points, and it's important to just to not enable them. Yeah, he had such a powerful story and said that he wanted to share it with people who are struggling and to also shine a light on the cycle of use and addiction. So brave of him to tell his story. You know, this is something that impacts so many people, Emily. Absolutely. Now, at the opioid summit, the Alabama Department of Mental Health actually gave out boxes of Narcan. Now, it's a medication that can revive somebody who has overdosed on opioids. Now, packages like these come with two doses inside, and it's recommended that people carry both packs with them. Now, the state opioid coordinator for the Department of Mental Health says that this could save somebody's life. Narcan is now available over the counter and I'll post a link on whnt.com on how your organization or business can request it.